Left now, left now, left now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hummer almost hits my Cobra. <laughs> Look at this. What's good? What's up on the vlog? Marcos in the vlog. What'd you say? My, 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 80s, my 1956 Chevy pops more than you. Wow, what the hell? Yeah, bro. Right, wow. Let me hit this oh, you want to hear it? It's going it's to sound like a V6. V6? Oh, do you have a part can on there? Is yeah. That yeah, it's straight pipe. What do you mean? What a, what a V6. What, a what did you say? <laughs> wow. Bro, look at, look you at, drive a V6. Look at this shit, look at this. This Cobra shit, bro, that's not even your bumper, bro. You Oh yeah? Oh, SVT. Look, I can pull it off. I can pull it off. <laughs> look, look, look at this SVT back, bro. That's fake. fake. You're fake. fake look bro. at that Hummer. 6,000 pounds or what? Yeah, bro. Still a V8. You smell that? Yeah. It smells stinky. So right now, me and Abraham, we're gonna get some exhaust clips of the Cobra now. If you guys don't know my exhaust setup, I have Cooks, one and seven eighth, long tube headers to their X pipe. The stingers, which sound really good. We'll just do some baby clan clips and then maybe some full throttle pulls. And there's a dog right there. Hey, looking real sexy. Set up. Walked by the gate guard. A hard tug? A hard tug? You hear that it doesn't have a knocking or nothing. You know? Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Loud. Yeah, hella loud. But no motor though, no knocking. No, nah, yeah. Try to try to keep it on the car, dude. God damn, this clutch. <laughs> this is the new project for Abraham. Going to go to go to one of the probably the red box, the motor, the Cobra motor. So it'll be a nice swap. We're running off with no alternator, no belt, no nothing. Well, actually, I let off the gas. My foot's not on the gas. I'm covering the holes, that's why. Oh, uh, what is it? Oh, yeah. I want to see. It's barely on. Oh, that shit. Do you feel the vacuum? Oh, yeah. No knock or nothing. I have an exhaust. Yeah. I hella hear that too up here. <laughs> AutoZone. I'm gonna build a SVT Cobra with my new fuel system right here. <laughs> we got the shorty intake. 
We need to get something. What's this one? That was for a Dodge Ram. Oh, is it? Yeah, we just had a Chevy. Chevy or GMC? The next day. What's going on, guys? So right now, we are in the five point slow, and we're gonna get some E85, because we are a bit low. And she's been running cool. If you guys are interested in the flex fuel kit, I mean, I'd highly recommend it. It's a cool kit, and it can be ran on top of a tune, ultimately, so I think that's a really good benefit. The kit works really good, and it's made by ProFlex. It's called the ProFlex Commander, made by Advanced Fuel Dynamics and you can run any blend of E85 and uh, with with a 91 octane, like you can mix them the two, that's the whole point of a flex fuel. And uh, yeah, it works really good, so we'll fill up with some E85 right now. Stupid expensive. Back in the fucking car. Today, we are in the 5.0. Headed home from school, just filled up with some 85. The weather is, the temps are just amazing. But right now, like I said, we are headed back and we got a new tune revision from VMP for the Cobra. So we're gonna slap that on the car and then relock the car. So we'll see how the new tune runs, get it adjusted, because it still has to learn. It needs to learn itself when you put a new tune on the car for a little bit, like I think approximately like 50 miles or so, but you know, just log it. We'll slap the new tune on, the new revision, and then we will re-log the Cobra. And uh, yeah, that should be good. But like I said, we do have plans to install the new 1400 rear wheel horsepower fuel system from Lethal Performance. Big shout out to them. If you guys need any parts, I highly recommend it. They give you great deals. Lethal Performance has really good deals on all their stuff. So I'd say definitely just go check them out. They sell tons of Mustang products as uh, the customer service is great as opposed to some other companies and uh, just go go check out some of the parts i'll leave their website in the description and uh yeah so that's what we're going to do today i can't wait to go corn on the cobra it's like especially on a boosted car that's going to make a big difference so say though that coming between the Cobra and the 5.0 they're just two different animals like obviously this car is a good everyday driver for sure for sure and I get that the Cobra is legendary and um, everything but these these 5.0s man and I see why like it's been probably Ford's best-selling like platform in terms of the Coyote they sound amazing they rev out crazy especially with a different intake manifold and I think that these cars ultimately are are definitely gonna be the future. I mean, obviously the Shelby is a, a very big, very appealing car. And, but at the end of the day, the 5.0 is always gonna be that baseline. Like you can get this car for a good price, nothing crazy. And I really do think that obviously you can consider the 5.2 or the Shelby motor for that sense, like the 5.8 and the Voodoo 5.2. But ultimately, these 5.0s are just so appealing to so many people in terms of how they perform. And uh, I really agree with that. I mean, these cars are just crazy. For being all motor especially, these cars with a few bolt-ons will be stupid quick. This car, it has a lot of potential. For me, I just wanna do this stuff to the Cobra because I know that I'm for sure gonna keep that car forever. And that, you know, this car is probably more than likely will devalue at some point. If, it's, if it already has devalued, but the Cobra should retain most of its value for sure better than this car, I think. But yeah, this car is super enjoyable, definitely dailyable. Between the Cobra and this one, I definitely give this one as to the daily driver for sure. Cobra, I say it's definitely a weekend car. I mean, it's doable. You can definitely uh, drive it every day, which, you know, it's not a bad thing. I do need new seats though. Comment down some seats you guys think would look good in the Cobra. I'm thinking either Co Corbo and, or Brom, or Brom Racing. Between those two seats, I think that would be a, a good seat to go with. I'm not just sure yet. I'm going to continue the journey today. 
we're gonna reload the tune on the Cobra and uh, we'll probably log it. So when I get home, we'll slap you guys there and we'll see you guys. So Catless, I would do a louder cat back, but the thing is going louder cat back means there's no performance gain really. I mean, cause it has the four performance X pipe down to the board, into the boardless sport. Uh, by four, by four performance, I think that's the cat back, and they're a little bit on the quieter side. They just have a really deep sound, which is good. But for me, I like a little more grunt. So we'll see. Something that I just received was this smart vehicle health monitor. Now, pretty much, it's an OBD2 scanner, but it's a little bit more than that. As you can track your mileage, you can check your speed, you can track a lot of things. So we're just going to show you guys how easy this is to actually use because a lot of OBD2 scanners are just physical devices. They don't actually connect to your phone and run through an app. While this one goes through an app, very easy to use. And we're going to show you guys, like I said, how versus how this app is and what it can do for you. As you can see. There's a safety center mileage log saver on gas right there and obviously check your check engine code so we do have a check engine light on the cobra so we will scan the car and show you guys how easy this app is to use and uh yeah this device is crazy small look at that guys so if you guys don't know where your obd2 port is mine happens to be under the dashboard most will be on the driver's side what you guys are going to do is download their app which is called zeus and it's in the app store free app and we will connect to the device so it's gonna be this top one right here, guys. We're gonna press add. So start the car's engine, leave it running throughout the installation, plug in at it, right? Pair now. Here the car is started, so as you guys can see here, you get a lot of information that looks really good. We have the RPM right now, the base, and everything's still trying to get adjusted, but you guys see this interface just looks amazing. And so the coolant 63 degrees, the car just started at like a thousand RPM, which is about right. And uh, nothing crazy, it could track your acceleration and everything. So with that, it's super easy, uh, but we are going to look. All right, so we are on data log number two now. We got to do a 2K pull to 6K, which is going to be crazy, but we got to do it. I got a revision. There was a little bit more fuel added because they did notice that it was running slightly lean and I thought it was too, so I wanted to be safe. We're gonna go all the way from 2K and then floor it to 6K. That's gonna be crazy. better look at those that's crazy bro the air feels look really good 